Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Revelio. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Confringo! Revelio! Sebastian! This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor, hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Also. Huh, a stairwell. Revelio. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply streaming. Oh, Guardian Leviosa. Lumos tells me they're after something bigger. Ah. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Revelio. Depulso. Confringo. Not sure what I did to deserve that. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Cabalso. <laughs> Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Revelio. Lumos. I know it sounds strange, but Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, 
we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be floored. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Rebellion. Expelliarmus. Depulsor. Meet me near the ruins of Falbatton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small... Uh... You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff skein. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff skeins to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. 
It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. It's a relief to finally have an art dress. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Revelio. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Confringo! Revelio. Imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery.
Revelio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Have you found anything to, uh... Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in Duncan for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me.
Revelio. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Well, here it is, the Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Now to see if Herodiana Byrne was as good as Sophronia said she was. Revelio! Ugh. I 
shield. I think I'm getting the hang of this now. Just one left. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Capulso. Descender. Accio. Leviosa. Expelliarmus, Incendium, Confrigo, Defender, Confrigo, Depulsor, Reset everything. Good to know. That's the last of them. Seems I was a map. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Not sure he's in it. 
You thought? If you thought more while we were alive, I wouldn't be trapped here with you. Now, excuse me. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! Off on another adventure, are we? Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous' family history is personal to him. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. It's not that I'm not interested. And you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me, and more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Hello, Samantha. 
Are you here for someone as court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother, until... Ugh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Accio! What was I thinking? Accio! Was sensational. Akia. Yes. <laughs> oh. How am I to top that? You'll have to do better than that. That settles it, then. <laughs> After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Ah. Rebellion! On in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you.
I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you... Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Rebellio. Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnuff. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue God. Sounds as if I need to head north to find those poachers.
What are you up to now? I found a Dirichol den near one. One in the back. I shall get that job in the back. Hopefully from your score. Stupid one. Let me know something you clever. Is this your best? Descender. Friend? What have you stopped? Stupid around like a penny wig. You're a slip. Arrest over there. Descender. Stupid one. Stupid one. Stupid one. Stupid one. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Protego. Also, never have come here. Defender. Let's see if you survive that heat. Accio. Leviosa. When I get to the city, for they see your love. Arrest the momentum. Leviosa. Accio. I'll scout around and film. Someone stop right there! Or I'll make you! Defender! Confringo! Glacier! The Pulsar! Incendio! Levioso! Accio! Expelliarmus! Descendo! The rest of the night! I'll get that goblin helm back! Defender! Confringo! Levioso! Protego! You've heard quite the enough! Incendio. Let him die. Back for more, I see. Let me. Revelio. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? 
A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. That's been a pleasure. Revelio. Poachers? Gone if was right then. I'd better be careful. Arrest over the mountains. Descender! Rope to get my places. Held your eye. Confring them. Convulso. Potato. Stupid. Leviosa, Accio, Incendio, Expelliarmus, Confringo, Defendo, Reductum, <coughs> Incendio, Expelliarmus, Stupid One, Defender. 
Alohomora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Arresto momentum. <laughs> 